Hello Gemini and welcome to the weekly love reading for couples from the 13th to the 19th of February. Now Gemini, I have pre-shuffled your cards, I am ready to go. Before we get started, I just want to do a quick astrological update. Uh, we have a full moon in the sign of Virgo from the, uh, sorry, from the 19th to the 20th, depending on where you are in the world. For us in Oz, it's at, um, I think it's 1.53 or, or midnight on the 20th. Um, now Gemini, I'm ready to go. I will start off by saying, who have you pissed off, Gemini? Because <laughs> it's like you actually start off with this amazing reading and then it goes a little bit south. So let me explain. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, Ten of Swords, um, and I don't usually like to read, go further than that, but I feel like I need to in this case. You've got the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords coupled together. Okay, The Seven of Swords can speak about deceptive behavior, someone being sneaky, trying to get away with something. Um, and then the Ten of Swords speaks about, that's it, you've reached your limit, you've hit rock bottom, you know, it's, it's kind of like... Um, you have to be reborn and that's why in this cut it's illustrated as one person separating from the other right to like the spirit body and the new body actually literally splitting but for me i feel like um you know maybe you've been a little bit harsh on your part and i'm trying to remember yeah your reading from last week was about getting your groove back it's like did you take a little step back or, or is this still stuff from the past that you're moving on from? The Seven of Swords for me, when I see it and I look at all the other cards around it, I like to think of it as you're actually moving away from all this pain and hurt and taking your two swords, the two swords of truth, your intelligence and that of clarity um, into your next rebirth. But then you've got the Ten of Swords following that. For me, it feels like it's like you take a step forward and then a step back. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, you start off this reading as a couple right as you go into valentine's day with the nine of cups and the two of cups so wish fulfillment happy connection i love you you love me rah 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 right but it's beautiful this is literally you're my wish come true like you're my partner this is the kind of relationship i've wanted i've dreamt of this i've manifested this and it's even stronger because at the base of that you have the freaking star like you have the two cards in the entire deck just the two and i've shuffled this this deck millions of times um, that represent wish fulfillment so you've got literally your partner is your wish fulfillment. It's like your dream come true. And I feel like if you're watching this, your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever it is, as you're, as you're watching this, you're like going, yeah, that's right, they are. But for whatever reason, um, it's like you have this, maybe you have a great day on Valentine's Day and it's actually quite romantic and your partner really surprises you, buys you something, uh, a really nice gift. I feel like you're, you're getting some sort of gift, Gemini. Um, but then I don't know whether you like maybe have too much to drink or you get a little bit short but I feel like you start an argument and I'll be honest Gemini like you guys know if you follow my channel and watch me for quite a while I'm normally I call it how it is energy is fluid it can go either way and this is a general reading but I feel like you're the one that starts the argument Gemini and I don't know what it is I feel like your partner is coming at you very loving and, and giving but you start the argument and then it spirals um, and what happens is you kind of regret whatever was said like the next day because as you get to the weekend you've got the Princess of Cups coupled with the Eight of Swords. This is a card for me that represents apology um, and the Eight of Swords says about speaking about feeling trapped. Now it could be a, a number of things um, that you argue over. I can't see what the argument is. It's a general reading and I don't know what your partner has done to suddenly go from being your wish fulfillment to pissing you off so so dearly or maybe it's the reverse as i said the energy can flip but i do see an apology coming in um because whoever it is that's kind of caused the argument or, or had it i don't feel like it's warranted and this person's then you know feeling a bit sorry for themselves having a second guess is four of cups it's that kind of card of um you know not wanting the offer <laughs> being bored with the, the offer. Um, but in this particular deck and how I read this, you see this person's got their head in their hands and they're just kind of feeling really low. It's the card just before the five of cups, right? So for me, it represents someone having regret and remorse. And it's even more graphic. It's like you've pulled the heart out of someone's chest. <laughs> you see that? That's pretty intense. Um, so if you're watching this and this hasn't happened for you yet, it may not happen. As I said, it's a general, but just be aware of that energy, okay? Um, you know, I have so many dear friends 
um, family members that are Gemini's and what I love about you guys is how you just call it as you see it you know it's part of I think why I click with so many of you because I have that dry sense of humor and it really works but sometimes I feel like it's okay to be vulnerable and you know accept love Gemini and maybe this is the the message for you this week is accepting that love that your partner is trying to give you now for others of you and I, I will give you another flip side to how this plays out um, it could actually speak about uh, you wanting to to have a, a very different connection it's like the person that you've connected with um, they've uh, you know, you've been going through these peaks and troughs, like at one minute you're, you're good and you're really happy and then either you or they do something and it, and it kind of goes dips down again and then it comes back up like a roller coaster. And I feel like um, you're almost saying to them, you know, I'm bored, this is not kind of working for me, I want something that's got a little bit more depth, I want a little bit more romance. Um, you are the person that I've wanted to have in my life, I've been trying to bring this in, but I want it to look different or I want it to evolve. Some of you could have kids, I mean, the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups could represent a water sign child, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, or it could just represent you wanting to have more emotion and more romance extended to you and feeling maybe trapped in how in not knowing how to express that Gemini. You know, um, as I was saying before, one of the brilliant things about your sign is the fact that you can be so intelligent and, and witty and just completely um, engaging to be around when you're in that kind of zone. But if you're wanting more love, then just ask, you know. It's such a simple thing that sometimes I feel like we put so much pressure around ourselves and put so much um, angst around how to kind of communicate that to a partner, especially if you've been with a partner for a long time, because I see some of you might have been committed for a long time. You find it really hard to get out of the mundane with the kids and, and the fighting over the, you know, who's done the dishes or whatever it may be, or who's, you know, cleaning up the, the pile of paper that's in the corner to then actually turn around and go, you know, it would be really nice if we could do something together as a team and I think that's just going to take you stepping up what's interesting is that you have the eight of cups as you move on into next week so this is emotionally moving on so whatever this thing is that comes up um, I feel like it's um, a, like a little karmic lesson a little bump you know it's nothing major you're not going to break up it's I don't see any cards of breakup I see argument I see getting on each other's nerves maybe taking a bit of space but um I feel like it's a little hiccup to kind of remind you about speaking um, about what you want, how you feel, asking for love if you need it, or accepting the love that's being trying to give to you. You know, you don't always have to win every argument, even if you're right. And that's still something I'm trying to learn. So if you know how to master that, please chat me in the comments below and let me know. Um, but Gemini, it looks like you have someone here that really loves you, someone that you've really wanted to bring in. So. Uh, don't take that for granted. Can I please have an additional guidance card for Gemini in couples? Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Didn't I say that I thought you were going to get some gift? This is a card of receiving gifts. Mm, you heard it here first. Let me know if you do. I want to know what you get. Make me jelly. Um, Treasure Island, the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need, but you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts, what did I say, and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. So there you go, Gemini. That was your reading. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel more than you know, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.